Have you ever wondered what kind of eyes in the vast sky can pierce through clouds and fog, see through camouflage, and leave no target hidden? When you hear the confident words from the KJ500 a pilot, wherever you come, I can see you, no matter who you are, it's not just a declaration, but a true reflection of the leap forward in China's Air Force early warning system. Recently revealed by CCTV, this early warning aircraft, now featuring a conspicuous refueling probe on its nose, officially showcases its revolutionary combat capability enhancement to the world. Behind this seemingly simple aerial refueling capability lies a profound transformation in air combat doctrine, one that is reshaping the balance of air power in the Asia-Pacific region. As the core of the Airborne Command Center, the KJ-500 fundamentally alters the operational model of traditional early warning aircraft through a single aerial refueling probe. This seemingly simple tube serves as the lifeline connecting the KJ-500 to the Y-20 tanker aircraft. When these two colossal aircraft achieve precise mid-air coupling at 10,000 meters, fuel flows continuously through the reinforced hose. This extends the KJ-500's endurance from 8 hours to over 12 hours. Some reports even suggest it can achieve 24-hour continuous duty through multiple refueling sessions. What once required multiple AWACS aircraft to rotate shifts can now be accomplished by a single KJ-500. This represents not merely a quantitative change but a qualitative leap, signifying the Chinese Air Force's achievement of round-the-clock, uninterrupted early warning and surveillance capabilities in critical airspace greatly enhancing its sustained early warning and command capabilities. While aerial refueling may appear straightforward, it is actually a delicate maneuver between aircraft, especially for large planes like the KJ-500 and Y-20. The Y-20 flies at speeds exceeding 900 km per hour, while the KJ-500 cruises at approximately 550 km per hour. When converging, the Y-20 must significantly reduce its speed to match the early warning aircraft's velocity range. Simultaneously, the massive radar dome on the KJ-500's fuselage generates complex airflow disturbances. Maintaining stable docking between two large vessels, in turbulent currents relies entirely on the pilot's masterful skill to preserve equilibrium. Among the Y-20's three refueling hoses, the specially reinforced central hose is designed for large aircraft, like the H-6N and KJ-500, capable of delivering fuel at a higher flow rate, it reduces refueling time by over 30%. This not only boosts efficiency, but also minimizes exposure time in potentially hostile airspace, significantly enhancing battlefield survivability. However, the KJ-500's value extends far beyond enhanced endurance. Its true confidence in declaring, I can see you, whoever you are, stems from its next-generation digital phased array radar. This radar employs advanced gallium nitride technology combined with a three-panel digital array design, reducing the scanning cycle to an astonishing two seconds. Compared to the outdated electronic scanning technology still used in the US, E3 AWACS, it represents a full two generations of advancement. Particularly noteworthy is its stealth detection capability. While official data remains undisclosed, industry analysis suggests the KJ-500 can detect fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-35 at distances of 200 to 300 kilometers. Some online sources even claim its anti-stealth detection range exceeds 400 kilometers, far surpassing the F-35's own radar detection capabilities. In March 2022, U.S. Pacific Air Force's Commander Kenneth Wilsbach publicly acknowledged that the KJ-500 played a pivotal role during F-35 engagements with the J-20. This statement indirectly validates the maturity of China's early warning aircraft system. With the deployment of the KJ-500, this advantage has expanded further. It not only detects and locks onto stealth targets, but also maintains robust anti-jamming capabilities in complex electromagnetic environments, thanks to its reinforced blade-shaped antennas and advanced electronic reconnaissance systems. When we observed the J-16 fourth and a half generation fighter, successfully locking onto foreign stealth aircraft multiple times along China's coastline, it is highly probable that the KJ-500 is providing comprehensive situational awareness and support throughout the operation. This deep integration between early warning aircraft and fighters is propelling the Chinese Air Force's transformation from platform-centric warfare to network-centric warfare enabling exponential increases in the speed of decision-making, observation, judgment, and action. The strategic significance of the KJ-500 lies in its complete resolution of China's critical bottleneck and early warning aircraft. The earlier KJ-2000 model relied on the imported Aleutian Il-76 transport aircraft platform, 
limiting its production volume. In contrast, the KJ-500 is based on the domestically produced Y-9 medium transport aircraft, enabling fully indigenous manufacturing and eliminating external dependencies. China's aviation industry has implemented a design philosophy of small platform, large radar, high performance, new generation, integrating capabilities surpassing those of large early warning aircraft onto the medium-sized Y-9 platform, a major technological breakthrough in itself. To date, over 20 KJ-500 series aircraft have been produced, making them the absolute backbone of the Chinese Air Force's early warning fleet. In terms of operational scale, China ranks second globally, trailing only the United States. With the maturation of the KJ-500A, China's AWACS system is extending its reach further. The KJ-3000 large-scale AWACS, currently undergoing testing and based on the Y-20 heavy transport platform, boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons, far exceeding the KJ-500 is 77 tons. This larger platform enables more powerful radar systems, additional operator stations, and extended endurance. It is speculated that the KJ-3000 may employ a dual-band active phased array radar, capable of detecting conventional targets at distances up to 1,000 kilometers and stealth targets like the F-22 and F-35 at approximately 500 kilometers, making it a true airborne strategic command center. Online images of the yellow-skinned prototype reveal that the KJ-3000 is also equipped with an aerial refueling probe, indicating its potential for global reach and endurance. From a system-on-system -system perspective, the KJ-500 is not merely an individual weapon system, but a concrete embodiment of the Chinese Air Force's information-based, system-oriented combat philosophy. In modern aerial combat, the performance advantage of a single platform is no longer decisive. Victory hinges on the overall effectiveness of the entire combat system. As an aerial command node, the KJ-500 can simultaneously track hundreds of targets and direct dozens of fighter jets to execute interception or attack missions. By sharing data with satellites, ground radars, surface vessels, and various fighter aircraft, it constructs a three-dimensional battlefield awareness network. Technologically, China's early warning aircraft have traversed a path of leapfrog development, progressing from catching up to keeping pace, to achieving partial leadership. Within less than two decades, China overcame initial setbacks in acquiring Israel's Falcon system, broke through technological barriers with the domestically developed KJ-2000, and ultimately achieved comprehensive advancement with the KJ-500 series. Today, China ranks among the world's few nations capable of independently developing large-scale AWACS aircraft, achieving global leadership in fields such as digital array radar, battlefield management systems, and data fusion technology. Looking ahead, the application of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and quantum sensing will usher in a new era of transformation for next-generation AWACS. Indications suggest China has made breakthroughs in quantum radar and intelligent decision support systems, technologies likely to be integrated into future AWACS platforms. Simultaneously, the concept of early warning aircraft is expanding, from manned to unmanned, from airborne to space-based, forming a multidimensional integrated early warning system. In the foreseeable future, China's early warning aircraft will continue advancing toward longer detection ranges, enhanced survivability, and higher levels of intelligence, providing robust safeguards for national aerospace security. From the KJ-500 to the KJ-500 and onward to the future KJ-3000, China's AWACS technology has indeed as many military enthusiasts marvel, surpassed that of traditional air power giants like the United States and Russia. The next time you witness the KJ-500 amid air, refueling with the Y-20 tanker against the blue sky, it represents more than just two aircraft connecting, it symbolizes the Chinese Air Force's integrated operational capability. A uh, command center in the skies is taking shape, one that sees farther, commands more precisely, and reacts faster. It is redefining the rules of modern aerial warfare and making the skies over the east more transparent and secure. The growth of this force is not only altering the regional balance of power but also reshaping the very nature of modern warfare. It marks the historic leap of the Chinese Air Force from a traditional territorial defense air force to a strategic air force capable of both offense and defense, 